turn on the light. What's going on everyone, it's your boy Cedric. Welcome back to the studio. All right, before we get started, quick story time. I gotta tell you guys about one of the best moments. I'd say the number one moment in my DJ career. This all happened last weekend. So last week you guys saw me create a remix. If you haven't seen that episode, it's the best remix I've created. Super groovy bass line, had so much fun creating it. Okay, so the song we're gonna be remixing today is called Can't Miss by Stephanie Bullock. She's a singer, songwriter, and happens to be a good friend of mine. Created the remix, on, I think it was like on a Thursday and I was DJing on the Friday. I'm like, bro, this is definitely a song you have to play. And honestly, this is sheer coincidence. I did not hit her up. A couple hours into my set, Stephanie walks over to the DJ booth. I didn't tell her I was DJing this weekend. She just happened to be in the neighborhood and I hadn't played her song yet. So I'm talking to her and she asked me, do you have the remix? So I told her, yeah, I got it. It's it's in the queue. So probably half an hour later, I ended up playing her remix. And she's there with a group of friends. Her table's going crazy. They're loving it. I had some friends show up. My friends are enjoying it. I see this girl walk over to me. I'm thinking she's gonna ask me for a song request. It happens. So she walks over to me and she says, I love this song. I tried to Shazam it and I can't find it. I don't think I'll ever forget that moment. One of the best moments ever. This has never happened to me. Maybe I'm blowing this up, but she loves this song that much. She needed to find out who the artist was. I'm trying to play it down, but literally, it's like I won the Super Bowl. Uh, it's like I won three championships. I just wanted to share that because it was the first like wow moment from, I don't know, I'm not gonna call her a fan, but from someone who loved the song so much, who loved the remix that much. You guys have already told me I could do this and I believe that, but this was just like validation, especially when you hear it face to face from a total stranger. There's no bias or anything. They just love it so much they wanna know who created it. Like to me, whether it's a million people enjoying your music or one person walking over to you and loving the music you created, it means everything. So um, I, just wanted to, I just wanted to quickly let you guys know. Which brings us to what we are doing today. The one and only multi-platinum Grammy award winning Adele just dropped a brand new single. So I'm gonna try to keep it going. I'm gonna try it remixing. I don't remember what it's called. Easy on me. But before we get started, if you haven't already joined the Sweet Scale fam, hit that subscribe button as well as the bell notification. Let's get into it. So I got the acapella for Easy on me. I'm just gonna drag that in. We're gonna change the warp mode to Complex Pro. So you can see the BPM is 141.56. So I'm gonna change that to 142. Let's take a listen to that. Yeah, it sounds about right. And everything's pretty much lined up in the right areas. Typically, I pitch the song down. I'm just a fan of the way it sounds. Now we're at 142. If we were doing a trap remix, this would be good, but it's just like, it's it's a bit too slow. So how am I gonna get this to 105? Or am I gonna take this up to 210? It's probably a little too fast. Okay, this is what we're gonna do. We're gonna change the BPM. We're gonna take this down to uh, 71. Okay, and then I'm gonna slow it down. Let's try 105. Yeah, that's good. Probably a little slower. Maybe 97. Perfect. Yeah, so we're gonna go with that. Let's start with the drums first. My drums are a mix of sounds from Splice, some sounds I've been gifted by different producers, but I'm gonna try to use Splice to show you guys. I think Splice is a great platform. Um, this isn't a sponsored video. I just, I've always been a huge fan of Splice. Whether you're a beginner, advanced, pro, you can find great sounds with Splice. We're gonna look for tops, maybe a BPM, say between 90 and 105. That sounds good. Probably EQ this. Let me bring in my drum kit. 
Double that. Let's bring in a kick. Yeah, and then just copy that. And I just like I want like a almost like a ghost note or like a softer kick. Take down the velocity. This is probably gonna take a little more time than I thought. But we're off to a good start. Check out Nexus. There are some like sweet scale favorites. What's interesting sounds? Oh, let's try that. Okay, so it's got its own drums too. So we're gonna go to what? Uh, layers. I wanna take out the kick. Let's record that. One, two, three. pretty dope what else does nexus have to offer okay let's turn turn off some layers though i don't need the snare or hat maybe i'll use that in the intro like the eight bars before the song starts so like we'll do two three yeah. Let's bring in Keyscape. But we're not gonna use Grand Piano, or maybe Rock. Yeah, let's go with Stick With Rock. Yeah, that's what we're going with. Let's record that. I'm not playing full chords because it would sound too uh it would sound too full. So instead of I go with you always want to consider the vibe you're going for. And that has nothing to do with playing piano because you could also pencil it in. It's all about feeling. I also want to bring in some plucks. Let's go back to Nexus. So I got this idea for a melody. Quantize that. But I can't bring to... So now we're going to heading into the chorus. I want to break right here. Let's go delete. Islands, baby, let me... Break. Yeah, that's what we're gonna do. Yeah, let's do that. And we'll do... But I'll put uh, a delay on this. Let's put a uh, filter. I'm gonna have another break right here and like an impact clap, maybe. Perfect. So let's bring the piano in.
I want to bring in a different bass for the chorus. Bass slide. You know what? For the second verse, I think I want to add a like a drum roll. Something like that. We're gonna bring some chords for the chorus. Let's record that. Here we go. I think I'm going to check out Serum. I got to use that, bro. That sounds dope. Okay, so what we're going to do is just copy and paste this bad boy. So we're going to group the chords we just added, turn down the volume. And then we're gonna head over to Shaper Box 2. Let's use the volume side chain. Yes. All right, we're getting somewhere. So I'm gonna take a quick break, especially when creating a remix. It's good for you to walk away from what you're working on because uh, I've been at it for like a few hours. I don't even remember the original anymore. So I'm gonna take a quick break and then I'm gonna go ahead and try to arrange the full beat. And then I'll show you guys what we've done much 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 later okay so it's pretty much done i really like the way it sounds uh there's probably a few minor adjustments i need to make so i have, I have pretty much everything in groups i have vocals higher vocal lower vocal these are just delays i have two drum racks house drum rack and a tom rack and then two different percussion loops. So this is the entire drum section. I got a whole different drum rhythm for the second verse. And then like what really makes the song are all these effects. You see, how many effects do I have? 14 different effects, which there's like a lot of risers, a lot of swells. And this is something I highly recommend, even if you're just making beats, whenever you're going from a verse to a chorus or chorus to a verse, any transitions, every eight bars, add something. It doesn't have to be as much as what I've done, but you gotta add something. It makes a big deal. Then we have keys. We got Keyscape, which is unreal. So this is, a, this is Keyscape, sounds amazing. Then we got the Nexus piano. Got that dance sound. So you layer those two together. Mint. All right, so this is the song I'm gonna walk you guys through. Here we go. Got the plucks playing. break coming up. Bring the piano back. And the dance chords. Here come the echoes. Line and kick progression. In 
the second verse. I just, I really like the bass line and it's got some nice slides and whatnot. So we're going, here we go. Let's go from the transition. Here comes the slide. solo the effects to show you guys what they sound like. It just adds a lot on its own. It doesn't sound like much, but then you add it to everything else. It's everything. Okay. So that's a wrap for this episode. Listen, this was a lot of fun, but it is now 4.53 in the morning. I've got to be up early. But honestly, it was worth it. And hopefully you guys learned something. Hopefully you found this useful. If you like the remix and you're not already a part of the Sweet Scale family, hit the subscribe button as well as the bell notification. The highlight of my music career is coming up in the next episode. So definitely check that out. As your boy Cedric from Sweet Scale TV. I'm ready to go to sleep, but I had an amazing time with you guys. I'm signing out. I'll see you guys in the next episode.